when they're playing in a primetime game, well, it's a little bit later in primetime, but um, <laughs> in a primetime game, do you have like a little bit of extra juice going out there? Oh uh, yeah, they're always fun to to play, and obviously, you know, Texas Tech was another great great experience as well. So you know, obviously, we've had a a little bit of experience playing in one, so and just a couple, obviously, throughout the season. But obviously, the night games are are a blast. So we're all excited to go down there, and, and it'll be a fun environment. I haven't completed a pass over 15 air yards in the past two games. How much of that is is what you've seen defensively, and and taking what's there over the middle, and and some of the shorter stuff, and how much do you feel like we, we still have to figure out a way to, to make that a part of what we do? Um, you talk back shoulder throws, things like that, uh, Saturday. Yeah, um, obviously you always want to have the explosive plays where you're throwing it down the field and you know obviously connecting on, on long passes, but um, sometimes the defense does a good job of, of taking it away and, and that's what they've done the past couple of weeks. Obviously, you know, we still gotta try to find a way to so like you said, hook up and, and, and try to get that going. So, um, but yeah, I think defenses have done a, a great job of, you know, trying to keep us underneath, but obviously, you know, we got to find ways to, to get it down the field and, you know, just continue to, like you said, just take what the defense gives us. Coach talked about how the offensive firepower on Colorado is very prevalent, but he thinks the defense is kind of underrated. Is there anything you see when looking at their defense specifically that stands out? Uh, just really talented all, all over the field. Um, Really, just there's no weak position, so we got to go out there and we got to execute and and just find a way to put points on the board. Just curious, have you played a game, high school or college, in the thin air, the mile high altitude prior to Saturday? I have not. Uh, obviously, being from Texas, you don't you don't have that kind of altitude. But uh, I've been to Colorado, obviously, a few times. Haven't played a game in it, so this will be a first for me. But um, just excited for the experience to get down there and. Obviously, you know, it's a beautiful campus and, and beautiful stadium and environment, so I'm just excited to, to get down there and experience it. How much has things changed in terms of moving Tony into the slot and, and being able to have him and Jamoy on the field at the same time? It seems like you kind of have a, a growing comfort with those two guys that you know they're going to be where they need to be. Yeah, um, obviously it was tough for for Tony to, to have to change positions and, and learn a new position. But obviously, you know, he's done a great job of it. And it's been huge for us because he's been a, a very big help for us on offense as far as the passing game and, and running game goes because he's been doing a great job blocking as well. And obviously with some motion stuff, he's been doing a good job of. So, um, but yeah, it's been huge for us to, to have all of our weapons on the field at once. And, you know, we just got to continue to find a, a way to get those guys the ball. Where does your composure stem from? Where, where do you trace that back to as an athlete? I, have, to be honest, I have no clue. I just always kind of, you know, once I'm out there, I just feel comfortable out there. It could be from playing baseball, just knowing that, you know, there's a good chance you're going to make mistakes and you just got to, you know, just stay even kill and just find a way to bounce back regardless of what happens. And, and you know, don't ever, don't ever get too high, don't ever get too low and just, you know, have fun while you're out there. That's what it's all about. You committed here coming off of a tough season. Is it hard to have that vision of we're going to compete for a Big 12 championship, be in that upper echelon as we go through the back half of the season? And how rewarding has it been to see now you're in that place where, you know, we've got a chance, everything ahead of us for the last five games? Yeah, um, we're, we're right where we want to be. Um, obviously, you know, a couple, couple of different plays here and there, and we, we could be undefeated. So uh, we just got to keep that same hunger and, and mentality throughout the rest of the year, knowing that, if we went out, we control our own destiny. And um, like you said, obviously going in the off season, it, you know, it wasn't the season that everybody had hoped for last year, but um, just the vision that they have for this place and this program, I, uh, I believed in it. And obviously a bunch of the other players have bought in as well, everybody that we have in the program. So uh, we all feel good about where we are, but we're not satisfied and, and we want to continue to win. But, uh, you know, I think it just speaks of uh, our character on this team and, you know, we're willing to uh, do whatever it takes to find a way to win. How much do you credit that stuff to the leadership group that was in place. There's been a lot of talk about Kandra and Corleone and Kiner and those guys kind of setting the tone in the off season. Yeah, um, having those older guys back that have been here for a few years or a couple years or even, you know, just with being Kandra's first year, for example, just, you know, obviously knowing what this program can be and, and just kind of working that into the entire team's mentality and 
you know, just explaining to the importance of, you know, this is a this is a successful program and, and we got to get it back to where it needs to be. Does knowing that Shador Sanders is on the other side, does that, do you, is that something you think about going into this game and your preparation? Does that get your competitive side a little more amplified knowing he's on the other side as a the quarterback? Uh, yeah, obviously, you know, he's a, he's a great player and uh, one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback in the country. So, um, obviously, you know, their offense is talented, but, um, you know, like I said earlier, we got we to gotta score points. And, and obviously, you know, you got to expect that they're going to score points. They're, they're one of the most explosive offenses in the country, but I'm very confident in our defense as well. So we just got to help our defense out and, you know, try to keep the momentum on our side and just continue to put points on the board and string together some long drives and uh, just see where we are at the end of the game. You had a, a left guard in Evan Tengestall that, that hasn't played a whole lot of high major football that, that gets tossed in there uh, in, a, in a pretty big game against Arizona State. How well did he do and, and how much does that show the confidence that you, know, you guys have in Coach Cardwell and that offensive line that you're able to be able to throw somebody like that in there and he performs? Yeah, that was great to see, obviously, being a young guy who, who hadn't had any you know true game experience, big game experience. and. You know, he stepped up in a big way and was very, very helpful for us and did a great job up front when he was in. So uh, just knowing that we have that, um, just in him and a couple other guys as well, just knowing that we could could, could swap some guys in and out and they can do the job and uh, just find a way to, to keep the offense going. But, uh, yeah, uh, all the credit goes to him. He did a great job. Sat said he knew within 10 yards that Evan Pryor was in the clear and gone for a touchdown. How quick did you know the yeah, was six? I, I can't remember exactly, but I threw the hand up pretty early. I, uh, once I saw him make that cut and I turned my head around, I was like, it's going to be tough to catch him. He's he's pretty dang quick. So, uh, you know, it was a great run by him. Great job blocking it up by all the O-line and, and everybody there, but especially Jamoy down the field and, you know, keeping that guy out of it. But uh, it was a great run by him. Any other questions? Thanks, Brendan. Thanks, Thank you. Hey, Brendan.